This is an update on Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy, 80 mile per hour winds, taking aim on Jamaica here. There's a hurricane warning for Jamaica, also a hurricane warning for Cuba. Uh, hurricane warnings extended up into the Bahamas. Tropical storm watches and warnings along the Florida coast here from Miami up to uh, just uh, east of Orlando. And um, the models are coming into better agreement with this system now and how it will phase with a nor'easter to create what we term here the perfect storm. So let's get right into it. There is a lot of concerned folks here in the northeastern states and along the east coast and even in eastern Canada right now. So let's get right into it. We have Sandy with top sustained winds 80 miles per hour, pressures down to 974 millibars. This storm is going to continue to move towards the north. And once it gets to about right in line with Jacksonville, that's where it will start to bend out towards the out into the ocean here. But that's where things start to go downhill because the steering currents actually will bend Sandy just eastward along with this developing trough up here in the Great Lakes. And then all the all the hurricane, even the hurricane tracking models now, are pushing the storm up through to a landfall somewhere uh, from Augusta, Maine, all the way down to uh, the Chesapeake Bay, Cape May, New Jersey, Atlantic City, New York City, Boston. These areas could be seeing a landfall. Now, what kind of landfall will we see with this? Uh, is this go what kind of storm is this going to be? Is this going to be a hurricane? Is this going to be a nor'easter? Is this going to be a hybrid system? The the answer is most likely a hybrid system. When you have a nor'easter combining with a hurricane, you get what they call a super system, and that's similar to uh, the characteristics of the perfect storm of 1991. And not to say that this is going to be that, but there could be some parallels on that. Uh, proportion there. Now, before I get to the lower 48, which I'm only going to touch very briefly today because we have a lot to talk about with the tropics here, let's take a look at the satellite picture of Sandy. A very well-defined ball of convection here. Uh, we're almost getting signs of an eye with 80 mile per hour winds here and it's going to continue to track towards the north and cause torrential rain and wind for Jamaica, Cuba, and the Bahamas. Now, let's take a look at the models. I'm going to show you first actually the GFS model which has been in disagreement with the ECMWF, the Euro, for days now and now the GFS is pretty much on board. The GFS actually has the system hugging the coast just east of uh, Florida here and actually blowing up just east of Florida. Um, as you saw on the track earlier it showed the wind radii actually reaching the Carolinas. Now this system as we continue to go through the frames on this GFS here once it gets just off the coast of uh, North Carolina it starts bending eastward and now here's where the fundamental difference between the GFS and the ECMWF is the the GFS is going to continue the system towards the northeast and then eventually once it gets out probably somewhere in line with Virginia once it gets further out here, just northwest of Bermuda, it's going to be picked up because it won't have any place to go up here because there's blocking. All the models are indicating blocking is going on. And that looks to be 